Hey y'all, welcome to V Peachy's World. It's V Peachy. And today y'all already saw the title. I got that new flavor from Hot, uh, Hot Wings, Lord, from Wingstop. And y'all see me. I got that new flavor from Wingstop. I got that Honey Hot. <clears throat> I also got some garlic parmesan, which is my son's favorite kind. And I also got Louisiana rub, which is my favorite kind. And you know they don't get a large thing of ranch no more. So, um, they give you five small ones. But before I get into the eating and the review, um, I want to, I got to show my, my people some love. So first, to the VP squad. Y'all know I love y'all. If you're part of the VP squad, I want you to put two peaches in the comments. Uh, you know I love y'all. What's up? What's good? What's goody? Thank you for coming back, clicking on the video. I love y'all for coming. Um, also, to um, if you're new here and you've never watched my videos before, I want to thank you for watching the video. Thank you for clicking on the video. Um, I hope you enjoy my content. Um, and if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can get a notification every time I post a video. Um, and I do a little bit of everything over here. I do mukbangs. I do reviews on food and restaurants. Um, I do vlogs. Um, I just do a little bit of everything. So it's a you're gonna see a little bit of everything on here. If you if you start seeing like something that you like more of, oh I like when she do reviews. I just like when she eat. Oh, I like when she go places. I like this. Grab a playlist and just play that playlist. You feel me? Like you don't want to intermingle. I don't like when she just eat. I just like to see her taste stuff and say whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, I like when she go places and she be with her friends. Um, now, since I'm back driving lifts, you feel me? Y'all might just like when I'm doing lift stuff and I'm doing funny stuff on lift. You understand what I mean? And then you just going to grab that. However, grab a playlist and play it. Because I need hours anyway because I'm trying to get monetized. So, either way, it's all good. Also, um, okay, let me start eating. Okay, so like I was saying, y'all, I got, this is the Honey Hot right here. Honey Hot, if you kind of see the difference in the, the look of them. Honey Hot. This is the garlic parmesan, y'all can tell, because it got the garlic on it. And then these is my favorite, my Louisiana rub. All right, so I ain't even going to start off with the Honey Hot. I'm going to start off with my favorite, the Louisiana rub. It's hot. I got it fresh. And I got them. But I'm going to get in the house. Um, I set everything good. So I had to put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Now they really, really hot. I'm not even checking to see if they were cold. I just. So now they like hot, hot. I love flats. But you know what? I'm so cheap. You know you can pay more at Wingstop to get um to get all flats. I've never paid it. I always just eat all the flats first and then if I'm still hungry then I eat the other part. <laughs> But Louisiana rub y'all is good. Louisiana rub is definitely a thumbs up. If you um, if you a dry rub kind of person, then you will like Louisiana rub. They're good. They spicy, but not too spicy. Um, good flavor. They got a nice little kick. Oh yeah, my beverage tonight. I had got. You know they got those um sugar free. I 
juices there, pops there. So I had mixed. I was, you know, like a little kid. You know, they got that. Um, if they have one of y'all wings style where they got that machine, where they have all the different flavors and stuff. So I had mixed the um, Seagram's sugar free cherry Seagram's sugar free ginger ale with the strawberry lemonade sugar free uh mini made lemonade and it tastes good i know i got some vodka in it too i'm telling y'all the reason on the rub is where it's hot i'm gonna splurge one day and get all the flat but dang I don't remember what I was about to say. Mm. Oh, good. Dang. Because I only got five Louisiana Rub, five Honey Hot, and I got ten of Louisiana Rub, but I ain't even going to hold y'all. I ate like three of the, um, let me know, how many right here? One, two, three, six. Oh, I guess I ate four. Did I eat four? Mm. I guess I ate four of the, um, Louisiana, I mean, what's these called? Garlic parm in a car. I don't know, I had a taste for garlic so bad. Ooh. When I say I had a taste for it so, so bad, like lately, I just been wanting to eat garlic for the life of me. It tastes so good. Good. How y'all been doing? Let me tell you about my day. So, I got off a half hour early. I got off at 4. I usually got off at 4.30. My plan, because I had to go run a little errand today. But I did end up having to do it. So, I said, okay. Y'all know I'm back to lift driving. So, I said, I was going to run my little errand. My errand. Check the, check the weather, see how everything is. And that was going to determine whether I was going to do lift, door dash. You know what I'm saying? What's up, what's up? So, and our phone be listening to me. Be listening to us. So, it was like door dash and lift was in a competition with each other. As soon as I clocked out, I'm talking to my son. I'm heading upstairs. I'm like, man. I got to figure out what I'm going to do today. I never realized how cold it was. When my son, my son comes in, it's 43 degrees outside. It's 43 degrees outside. I'm all like, because he, he was washing clothes. And our we don't have a, a washing machine dryer inside our unit. We have to go outside of our apartment to wash. So when he was opening that door, it was a little nippy. I'm like, dude, that temperature dropping. I'm like, it might have been 43 when you looked at your phone an hour ago, but it ain't 43 no more. So, um, I'm trying to determine which one I was going to do. And I was like, um, if I do door dad, man, I got fibromyalgia. So, I haven't been getting the proper sleep. That's kind of my fault, though. I'll be going upstairs late. I'll be trying to like do a video and then I have to edit it. And then try to have something for the next day. And she like last night, one of my friends ended up coming over. Me and her was in here clowning and laughing. Cracking up. And um I ain't even end up editing the video. So that's why I didn't have a video come out. Today is Friday. Today is St. Patrick's Day.
I didn't even have a video come out today. Because as soon as I got off work, like I said, 4 o'clock came. I went upstairs, changed my clothes or whatever, got dressed while I'm determining which one I was going to do. Like I said, both of my phones going at it. DoorDash like, come outside. We got bonuses. It's, come on, come on, come on. We going to give you all the money. Everybody, your pocket's going to be full of money. Money, money, money. We going to be rich tonight. Just come on. Live or something. Just come on, come on. But Lyft, they really was hollering. You already know you could depend on us, V. Come on. Do it. Do it for the team. Take one for the team. I can't wait to eat this one. It looks so good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Let me stop talking and just eat it. Okay, y'all. So, I'm about to try this. Uh, the new wing, the honey hot, uh, honey hot wings. I mean, what is it? New hot honey, honey hot, whatever it's called. This the new wing at, uh, wing stop. The honey hot. And look, it looks so good. Mm. It smell good. Okay, I'm just going to eat it by itself. This is the flat. Oh, I got three flats. Oh, good. I got three flats. Oh, this one ain't really got no seasoning on. Look at this. Ain't even hardly no seasoning. This one got some, though. All right, this looks so good. Look at that. Okay, let's go. First bite. Let me see. Okay. I can taste the kick. You can take you can smell the sweetness. Um I need to eat another one. It definitely ain't nasty. But I, I, to get the true taste of that, I got to taste another one. Let me let me dip it in the ranch. Let me see. Hey, we ain't talking about the best freaking ranch. And the guy was telling me today that they make it, they make it in-house daily. I don't know what their recipe is, but this shit is delicious. All right. Light dip. I ain't gonna dip it too heavy this time. Oh. Light dip. Light dip. Mmm. You know what, y'all? Thumbs up. Um... The kick is good. The sweetness is good. It gives you a good balance. But I want I want more seasoning on it. It's like it wasn't enough seasoning. Um I want some more honey and some more hot. If I was to ever get these again, I would definitely tell I'm gonna get matter of fact I am gonna get them again. Um, if I go back to Wingstop before they, um, you know, take them away, I'm definitely going to tell them, like, I need you to double season my wings or double honey, whatever they do to them. Because it's, like, not enough. Like, how they do, yo, yo, Louisiana, them Louisiana real wings, you see that season on there? You can taste it. You see that? That garlic parmesan. See them big old pieces of garlic? You can taste it. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat one of these, um <clears throat> one of these big um the first portion, the drums, to get some more of these honey hot to really get this taste, cause they good wings, but it just ain't enough seasoning. But def they good. Thumbs up, y'all. Definitely go get these. They good. If you ain't a ranch eater, 
Um, cause let me say this. Sometimes I get like, for instance, I don't like um. Uh, oh shit! Excuse me. Wing stops. Um, their hickory barbecue wings. Um, by themselves. To me, those wings have to be dipped in ranch dressing. The hickory barbecue wings, the, the barbecue is just so overwhelming. Like, it's, it's that dark sauce. Um, I feel like they need to pour some water in it or something to, like, kind of calm it down. I don't know, but it's very, very overwhelming for me. Um, and I just don't like the taste of it. It's like... I don't know. I like. I don't know what's the, uh, what the thing is for me with that hickory barbecue. I don't like it. It's just too much. Like I would. I would never want that on like ribs or just nothing. It's just not good to me. It's just it's too much. So like when I would get, get that, and if, if like if I like when um <clears throat> it's like so for instance when I was with my ex and we would when we go. We always get multiple flavors because he used to like spicy Korean and he would get the hickory. I would get like Louisiana rub, uh, whatever new flavor they had because I used to like to try the new stuff. And then my son would always get garlic parmesan. So sometimes, you know, it'd be like, okay, well, let me try a few of yours. He'll try a few of mine. <coughs> so I didn't like his spicy Korean. So it didn't, I end up having to eat some of the hickory, whatever, whatever they call it, hickory, hickory barbecue. And I will always be like double dipping, well, you know, with my own ranch. It Because every time you take a bite, you have to dip it in that ranch. Because the sauce, that sauce is just so overwhelming. The flavor is just so powerful. It's just, I don't know. I don't like it. Tell me what y'all think about the um, hickory barbecue from Wingstop. And if you ain't never had it, try it. And then tell me what you think. Like, just get, um, I think when you get the tenders, you can only get, you can get up to two. And, like, just get two tenders with that hickory barbecue sauce and then report back to me and tell me what you think. You know what I mean? Like, do a review if you're a YouTuber or, um, comment in the, comment down below and tell me what you think about that hickory because it ain't it for me. I don't like it. But, um, yeah. These honey hot wings, I think they're good. They're good. I just want more season. They're tweaking. You know, they, I know they be like putting them in that little bowl and they shake it up. They need to put some more, more stuff in the bowl. You know how you watch back there and you see the little bowls that they be cooking the stuff, be shaking up the um, seasonings in? The toppings or whatever, the flavors. I'm be like, can you put more flavor in my bowl? <laughs> I'm be like, girl. I'm be like, boy. You feel me? Yeah, y'all, but. Anyway, so let me go back to Aziz and Georgia. So they was talking, like, they were sending me so many messages. I'm going to have to screenshot and show y'all. The text messaging. Just how they was going back. Y'all see my braid. Y'all saw me take my braids down. Y'all see this raggedy braid. This braid fell out like a week ago. And I just been stuffing it back up. It's time for me to take these braids down. But I've been working so hard. Going from one job to Lyft. To Dojo's. During the week, I'm doing other stuff, recording, editing. I'm so tired, y'all. And already, it's only been a couple weeks. My body already be getting to feel it. My, my back is starting to hurt. Like I was saying, when you have fibromyalgia, when you get tired, that's my first thing. I always start feeling tired first. And then once I get tired, my body start hurting. And it'll always be like my hips hurt. And then it be like my back. And I always feel like a burn and a pinch in my back. 
burn and pinching. It's, it's it's real funny. Like it feel like um, you know how you feel like when you get a shot and that needle go in. That's what I start feeling in my back, and that's how I've been feeling. And the only thing I don't like about the burn and the pinch in my back is that I can feel it constantly. And the only way I can really make the, the body pain go away is if I get, I have to get like at least a day or two of rest. And I'm talking about a full day or two of rest. Like, like on the, I have to take, well, I, you know, I work Monday through Friday. So I would have to, like, I could still edit and maybe record during the week and cook and do my regular one too. But maybe like still grocery shop and order that and whatever. But like on the weekend, I would have to like sleep in, not plan no outings, not do no errands, and really just like rest and sleep all day. Like take a sleeping pill. And because it's like rejuvenation, take my, you know, take my medication um, and maybe get up and eat something light. I can't have no breads, no carbs for real, nothing sugary, something really light, maybe like some broth, um, chicken, uh, maybe fish, nothing that's going to mess my stomach up, um, you know, just something really, really light. It's like I have to change up my diet and everything just for my body to like recoup. Um, and that's why I'm trying not to get to that point. Cause I can I can feel my body like because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. But I gotta keep on moving. I gotta keep on trucking. Y'all know how I go. I'm singing the the, the single mama uh blue my son about to graduate some stuff I done already paid off and some other stuff I gotta do he need these shoes he, he doing shop put for sports he needs some special shoes not running shoes cause he ain't running but he doing shop put so it's like these shoes and he got he wear a size 12 so, they have them in stock, but not in his size. So, we didn't looked on Nike.com. We looked on Amazon. We looked on Dicks.com. Man, we didn't looked on a couple websites. So, now I'm trying to figure out where we're going to get these shoes from. Um, Then I got to do his senior pictures. Ugh. I, I'm trying to figure out with him what you want to wear for your senior pictures, Dejan. I don't know, man. You get my outfit. You figure it out. I'm like, okay, I think you should kind of lightweight dress up. No, I don't want to do that. Well, you just told me to pick out your outfit. Now I'm telling you, and you told me you don't want to do that. So I'm like, okay, well, get like a raw little jogging suit. Like, you know what I mean? Um, okay, yeah, that's cool. Then I'm telling them, like, okay, I'm going to go pick it up, thinking about it. But then I'm thinking, like, huh, well, I can't do that right now because I got to pay our life insurance and my car insurance coming up. Pretty so <sighs> Listen, I'm losing my mind. And I, if, I, if, I, if, my, if I go crazy and my body hurt, I'm really going to be through. So one of them can't go. You understand me? One of them got to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to figure it out. But, um, anyway, I guess I, ain't, I never finished. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm pouring me some more lick like now. Um, I got to get back to the story. So, yeah, so live Uber. I mean, not Uber. Live, um, yeah, you know what? Live keep texting me because... So, okay, so for Lyft and Uber, I hadn't um, drove for them in over a year. Maybe a little longer. I'm going to get that cup in a minute. Um, I hadn't um, did my insurance and stuff. So, 
I never renewed it with Uber. I renewed it with Lyft. So now Lyft, they sending me stuff every day. Just send us your insurance information and you can hop back on the road and you'll be just like new and we miss you and blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, man, these live, these, listen, I made today, I made $150 in three and a little bit over three hours. They was giving me crazy bonuses. I was over, I don't know, but anybody who watching this who from Ohio or from the Cleveland area, over here, where I stay, in Tioga Falls, I probably get like three, four dollar bonuses. I think the most, the biggest bonus I ever got, and this is a bonus, is basically like how you make it work is, you know, you get the base pay, and then the bonus is whatever on top of your base pay. The biggest bonus I got over here was like maybe seven dollars, and that was like one time. Most of it would be like three or four dollars. When I was on Euclid, East Cleveland, in that area, they was giving me $14 bonuses. $10 bonuses. I was getting paid, and I was taking people up the street, down the street. This dude got in my car. He like, man, this is the cheapest lift I ever had. I'm like, what? I the lift was seventeen dollars. Well, I was I was making seventeen dollars off the lift. So for him, he had to be paying probably like twenty six, maybe thirty dollars or something. I'm like the cheapest. No, how much did he say he was paying? I forgot. But the shit was crazy to me. I'm just like, what you mean you paying seventeen? I'm like, what you mean it's the cheapest? Cause I knew how much I was getting paid. So I just you know pretty much know the prices. I'm like, that's insane. He like, yeah, he like, man, usually when I hit this thing, I have to pay $33, $43. I'm like, to go up the street, I took this guy. I remember this so well. I took him seven minutes away. And he told me he didn't pay $30 and $40 before to go seven minutes up the street. And he asked me, like, uh, why do you be coughing so much sometimes? Why is this and that? I'm like, probably because it'd be the last drivers on the road. And that area where I was at is super ghetto. I'm like, nobody want to drive over here? I'm like, I came over here because when I'm in my money-making mode, I don't care where I'm at. I pull my gun out. See, a lot of times I just have it in my middle console. I don't pull it out. You know what I mean? I have it on safety. I always got one in the chamber. And I have it on safety. And I just have it in my middle console. But some areas I be in, even out here, when I go to like these country bumpkin places and I be riding cornfields or whatever, and I have to pull all the way back and go all the way back into somebody's house, I pull my gun out. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who I'm going to pull up on. I don't know if I'm going into, you know, children of the corn or what, you know what I mean? I don't know what I'm about to go into. So, I pull my gun off. I take the safety off. Like I say, I always have one in the in the chamber. And I be ready. I be waiting. I have my pepper spray out. You know, I always have my car in drive. I never put my car in park. Um, I always make sure that when I'm somewhere, if, I'm, if I have enough room, I make sure I ain't never got to back out of a spot. I have enough room where I will... Turn myself around. So if I got to pull out of there quick, I do that. Uh, listen, I've been doing Uber. Or I'm sorry. Well, Lyft and Uber. Uber eight years, Lyft seven years. I've been doing it long enough where if I need to get myself out of a sticky situation, then I should, I should be able to do it. I be feeling bad for some of these drivers who be like really becoming a victim to some of these people. Like, Oh, well, people got in my car and they attacked me. And one lady was like, oh, somebody poured water on top of my head. Now, if it wasn't scalding hot water and they just pour, you just let them pour a bottle of water over your head. You know, I was just so this or that. And, oh, my God, they beat me up and blocked my arm and this and that. And I'm thinking, like, well, did you fight back? Well, what, you, what happened? Did, was your arms hurt? No. 
Listen, I ain't about to do none of that. I'm not about to let nobody just beat on me or pour water on me or treat me any old kind of way. Like, I ain't about to do that. So, you know what I mean? Like, that's the difference between me and another Lyft driver. I ain't about to let nobody talk to me any kind of way in my car. I ain't about to let nobody do nothing to me in my car. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, God forbid this ever happened to me. The only way a dude be, or a woman ever be able to take me out is literally if they get in the car and I feel like the ride is cool, everything happened, and my back is turned because I'm driving, and he just take out a gun and blow my head off. And I know that probably sounds crazy and it sounds, you know, but that's the only way. Because I ain't paying attention and I'm driving and I'm thinking like, you know, I just let my guard down and you know what I mean? And that's the only way. Because if he get in the car trying to fight me or trying to tussle or do something like that, I'm going to fight with all my might. You know what I mean? Like, if I got to do something in traffic, if I got to blow the horn, if I got to grab my gun, if I got to get my pepper spray, if I got to, you know what I mean? I'm not going to just let somebody attack me. Oh, what happened, Miss Smith? My last name is Smith, y'all. <clears throat> what happened, Miss Smith? Oh, well, he got in the car, and we was kind of having words, and he just started pouring water on top of my head. And then after he poured the water on my head, then he just started beating me up, knocking my glasses off. And then I was like, mm, and then I just got beat up. Never. <laughs> that'll never, listen, that'll never be my story. it will be like, well... He got in the car, he started talking shit, and then I put him out. And I put out my taser, or I put out my gun, or it was a shootout, because he tried to shoot at me, and then I shoot back at his ass. And that's why you see a bullet hole right here, bullet hole right here. Oh, blood, that's his blood, because, yeah. You feel me? Like, it ain't, listen, man, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I guess everybody's, like, fight or flight response don't you know, kick in, you know, they just automatically become a victim, but that's how some people is, and I don't, um, let me say this, I know I probably sound so cruel, because everybody, some people are, everybody not the same, you know what I mean, but I just, I don't know, I, I ain't never been in a situation, so I guess, you know, it's easy for me to say, like, oh, if something happened to me, I'm gonna kill them or something it's easy it's easy for me to say that because i've never been attacked while i was doing the uber but i have been attacked in my life by somebody and i did not just sit there and let them beat my beat me up so i don't know but um okay i said i was gonna start bringing this up everybody look in the description box there is a new app that's similar to TikTok called Clapper. Go to that app. I have in, in the description box, I got all my socials. Hit those links. Follow me. Also, I have um, um, I'm gonna start putting at least five people to 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 subscribe to in there i'm gonna start doing some things in my description box so just go to my description box and check check it out check 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 checking it out you feel me check 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 checking it out but y'all i ate this chicken up i'm full i'm tired i've been up since six i worked got off uber got off when you got the chicken Came, set up, recorded. Now it's time to cut this off, edit. And then I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to take my medication, go to sleep. Then I'm going to get up and start all over tomorrow. And I'm going to drive all day tomorrow to probably get dark. Then Sunday, do it all over again. Then Monday, back to the regular 9 to 5, baby. Gotta do it. You understand what I mean? But I love y'all. Peach out. Peach out, y'all. Thanks for watching.
Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell.